This is how to foam roll your back. The first thing that you're going to want to do is find a nice area to lay down, grab a foam roller, and then position that foam roller on your back as you can see on the screen right now. What I recommend starting with on the foam roller is doing mini crunches and slowly letting your shoulders come back and slowly lifting up. What you can also do as foam rolling is slowly move that roller up and down your back. So you may want to start in your upper back and then slowly migrate to going lower and lower on your back. Be careful not to go down too far too quickly or you may get some pain in your back or kind of feel like a bit of a muscle strain because um, it is a new movement. The second thing with foam rolling your back is that you want to work on back extension, right? So back extension would be leaning back and opening up, sticking your chest out, opening up that rib cage. Your eventual goal should be able to have your hips on the ground and then bring your shoulders all the way back and have your shoulders on the ground at the same time. That would mean that you have really good back extension. On the screen right now, I find that this is a really good quad stretch as well, quad and hip flexors. So you can do that also. And then what you can also do on the foam roller is lean from one side to another. So if you have one leg down, just like that, that's going to put more pressure on one side of your spine. And you should not be necessarily rolling out your spine. You really should be rolling out your back erectors, uh, which are your spine erectors that run from your pelvis all the way up to your neck. It's one big, super long strip of muscle. That is how you guys foam roll. Uh, just stay consistent with foam rolling. It's going to help you uh, have and maintain good mobility, especially as you lift more and more and more frequently, you will continue to get a little bit tighter. But foam rolling will help with that. That is how you do foam rolling.